here to send management a message that it is not acceptable to treat the nurses like yesterday's trash. We've been at negotiations. They fight us on absolutely everything. What we're being offered at the table is totally unreasonable. The, the premiums for our health insurance are, would be so high under their proposal that nurses would actually leave the hospital. They'd go up a couple hundred dollars a week. And we just can't afford that if we want to have experienced nurses at the hospital and have safe care. This is not new to me. I have been in other nursing unions. I was a part of the Mass Nursing Association when I worked at UMass. This is not new to me, but it is new to most of the staff here. I've never been involved in a union, and I am very pleased to see that the nurses come together and stand up for their patients. And That's what nurses always do anyway. Um, I'm here to show unity with my fellow nurses. Um, united we can, um, I believe, demonstrate to the community and to the hospital that we really feel that we want to work hard for a fair um, negotiation, a fair contract, um, that, that, ben that one which benefits both the nurses and the hospital. Um, I'd, I'd like to see us come to the table for all, from now on into the future to have communication. I don't feel like that happened in the past. We formed a union last May and um, the hospital agreed to negotiate in good faith. We started negotiations around August and um, we've had, I don't know, 25, 30 sessions with them, but every single thing is a fight. I mean, it took a couple of months to settle jury duty. What's that about? So, you know, now that we're into the hard economic issues, now it's even worse. And the hospital has done nothing but stall. They've had very, several uh, labor complaints against them. They have a, uh, a trial May 14th because of unfair labor practices and failure to negotiate in good faith. And we're out here to let the public know what's going on so that we can get everybody's support. We would rather be with our patients. We would rather be acquiring more certifications, which require a great deal of study. But we can't do that if we're afraid that we can't even have affordable health insurance for our own families. Nurses are people too. The next steps after today, we have another negotiation on, um, on May 9th. And we hope that, you know, after these, these actions that we're taking, we hope that they come to the table with a little more reasonable um, proposals and more reasonable listening to our proposals. Um, you know, we've, we've reached out to our political friends, the governor is supporting us, the state reps, senators are supporting us, and we're hoping that that and the pressure from the community and the pressure inside the hospital from the nurses is enough to make them realize that they, they just need to negotiate. We're not going anywhere, we're here. And that's, that's a, a fact of the matter. It's hard, you know, nurses, have families and children and husbands and nurses are caregivers to both their community people and friends and their own family and their elderly so it's hard to really understand the importance of being here but once you've come for one moment to see one part of the need for us to show our support together um, it's sort of you're drawn back you're drawn back to say you know what this is about me this is about uh, me together with my nurses and the best for this community. The better the, the nurses are treated at the hospital, the better the nurses are able to treat their patients. And it is about patient care. It is about us caring for the people who come sick well to have their babies in the emergency room to this hospital. We are the nurses that are going to hold their hand and care for them, medicate them when they're in pain, hold their hand when they're dying and when they're born. Um, and so. We really do need to stick together and take care of one another so that we can be the best nurse for every person that's driving by here today when they come here.